What's going on, everybody? It is your boy. So about that do or die, baby. We play music all week, week. I'm feeling it. Welcome in the Fat Boy Frequency Views. Of course, I am Mr. Fat Boy. And today I take you on that journey, baby, of excitement, entertainment, hype, fresh fragrances all the time, baby. I'm going to bring it with no edits and no do-overs because all I need is one take. And I get it right. Thank you so much for showing the love and showing the support. I really appreciate it. It's much appreciated. Thank you. And if you are new to this channel, come on in. It's a safe place. I promise you a place of positivity of energy, baby. And I promise you I'll give you my 100 every time. Video every day, sometimes twice a day. You get three or four streams a week. Make sure you check out the streams too. Show the love and the love will always come back. All right, baby, we're about to re finally review Aqua Geo EDP. Saw some people doing it, but you need to get it from your boy because your boy paid for it. This is a real genuine, non-biased opinion. Nobody gave me anything. I didn't get a discount. I paid retail, baby. Let's get all up in it. And you know how we do it. No salad, no dessert, just straight steak and beans. Fat Boy Fragrance Review starts now. Back to the streets again, but a nigga wanna go there. They can't be treated so bad. Crucial, but crucial for all of Break. It's time for a music break before we get started. Y'all ready? Come on, sing it with me now. It's the incredible, the lyrical. You can't be me like me. To see me is gonna take a miracle. I'm driving motherfuckers hysterical with a touch of this twister, stylistic mixture. Woo! 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 But here's the bottle. Now this bottle is supposed to be one of those uh, a friendly, um, environmental friendly bottles. So they make it the way I like they make them. The top will come off and this part comes off. Oh, see so much as a decanter, which I am. Speaking of decanter, where, where are my manners? Make sure you check out FatboyFragrance.com. It's our one year anniversary. We're killing it, and to every day this week we have a different promo. Today's promo is huge. Buy one new release decant, get the second one free. Can't beat that. Now, it's only running from when this video started. Not, I mean, so it's going to start at 11 o'clock. And when this video goes up at 11, that's when the sale starts. And it ends at 2 o'clock. It is a three-hour sale, flash sale, gone. That's the deal for this day. Buy one new release decant, get the second one. They'll be in a collection called New Release Decants. Just search for that, you'll find it. All right, fatboyfragrance.com. Support your boy where the customer is always right. So any new release in the last two, two three months is going to be on there. All right, let's go. Like I said, this one twists off. I love that. So I saw that they had the extra one for sale. The Just the, the bottle where you can refill this one at. I said, well, you know what? I might as well buy that one too. Because I decan, right? And that's what I did. And what was so funny is like, this is actually cheaper. So what if, if somebody didn't care about the bottle, they could buy 150 mLs and not care about the bottle and be cheaper than this one. And this one is... Uh, the the 4.2 ounce, so it, it's a big one, but it's still cheaper, and this will get the job done. Up to you. Um, I use one like this, 
These were like eight bucks on Amazon. You just, you know, you take the top off. And you just pour in there, baby. You gotta twist this and just pour it in there. You know, and just go bam. Like that. Like you pour a drink. And um Yeah, so super easy. I like these little circle ones. These are actually uh my 20 mLs that I have with Aqua Geo you can buy if you want to just get a 20 ml. Alright, so enough about the store, enough about everything else. Let's get into the front into the, to the fragrance now. You saw how this thing works. Um, it's cool. I like it. I, I'll never wear all this fragrance. Like I said, I'll sell a bunch of it. All right, so here it is, Aqua Geo EDP. When I first saw, saw this fragrance, I said, "Am I getting a stronger version of the original Aqua Geo? Am I getting a blend of Essenza, maybe uh, Perfumo? That's what's going to make it stronger." But I, I, I was really curious. I mean, I'm. I'm a big fan of Aqua Geo Senza, the line. It's one of my wife's favorite fragrances in the whole world. And um, as I pull up the nose, no edits, baby. I had the nose pulled up, but then it disappeared on me. Give me one second, I'll find it. Yeah, but so I was very curious about this fragrance. I bought the biggest one I had, and I bought mine at Macy's. It was, it was, but you already can find these on Fragrance by Canada. The smallest, smallest, I guess like a 40 millimeter bottle for like 60 bucks, not cheap. But it's not, um, not if you don't wanna get a big bottle, you can't do that. All right, I got the notes right here. All right, so the notes on this bad boy are, you know about that easy E, baby. You got water, sea notes, green mandarin, middle you got sage, lavender, and geranium in the bottom. You got mineral notes, um, patchouli and vetiver. So, what I want to do real quick is I want to pull out what's inside Perfumo real quick. How close are we on this on Perfumo? Well, same kind of water notes, different, you know, I mean, sage, geranium, incense, patchouli. It, it, uh, Perfumo has incense and this has vetiver. That's the biggest difference I'm seeing so far. So let's go ahead and put it in the skin, give you a real time feeling. I've worn this a bunch. I'm ready to give you my full review on it. I'll tell you, in the air, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's the best thing I've ever smelled from Michael Gio. In the air, it's amazing. I mean, 10 out of 10. I mean, I, I get a little bit of the original. I get a little bit of Senza. I get a little bit of... I even feel instinct in this one somewhere. But man, does it go away fast. I have never seen a perfume concentrate go so fast i mean like after 10 minutes it's gone gone maybe i got a bad batch maybe that's what it is i'm not sure but i tried both bottles and i still don't get performance out of it and i'm telling you that right now that killed the experience for me on this fragrance no performance but as i smell it in the air, I'm getting more of a Senza uh, uh, original OG vibe, but once it gets on the skin and starts selling, I'm getting more of that uh, perf Perfumo vibe for sure. It's a blend of all of them. It's a in the air when this thing's first sprayed, first contact, you're gonna get with people, they're gonna love you. Now, maybe it's just my chemistry, my skin, but it gave me, it ruined the moment for me because I couldn't enjoy it. I couldn't smell it myself after 10 minutes. And it was something I just had to keep respraying and respraying. And I don't mind respraying, but man, after five minutes, 10 minutes, got to do better than that. But the smell is very similar to uh, Perfumo. It's amazing. If you guys get better performance, this is better than Perfumo. Is it better than Senza? We'll find out in a second. So it's going to, you know, the notes basically, like I said, it's going to be a nice, you know, aquatic citrusy opening. And you're going to have an a, a instant spicy vibe towards the end, just like Profumo and, and Senza does. It's not a sportier fragrance, kind of like Aqua Gio, the original. Or it's not sweet like um, Absolute. It doesn't have that vibe. But it kind of feels like you're getting a little bit of all of it together. All right, so performance, like I said, sucks. I can't even check the box. It's horrible. Worst thing I ever... This is almost as bad as Gucci Guilty. I mean, Gucci's Dirty English. This is how bad that is. Does the wife you like it? Of course you like it. It's Aqua Gio. Everybody loves this fragrance. Everybody who could actually smell it loved it. It's a compliment here. People are gonna love the way you smell. People are gonna love the way you smell. Now, 
How much do I recommend this fragrance to you? Here's where I'm stuck, man. It's like, I want to recommend it. But go into the mind saying you're going to have to heavy spray this fragrance. And maybe respray. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's a great fragrance. It's probably the best thing they put out since... I mean, tell you what. They have been doing great. And I'll explain why in a second. They're nailing everything. I changed my mind. But... This one doesn't perform. If it performed, it'd be a fragrance of your candy. Easily. Aqua Zero Perfumo is up, it's a toss-up for me. Get it, but understand performance is lacking. If you already own Perfumo, maybe not for you. Not enough of a difference. Because of the performance, I just can't recommend it. All the way. Now, if you want to sample it, you can at FatboyFragrance.com right now. Buy you this one and get that and get the second release for free. And it's fatboyfragrance.com. Support your boy where the customer is always right. All right, now let's do the fun part. Let's rank them from all the ones I have to my least favorite to my most favorite. All right? So I'm going to start with my least favorite. And it's not even because it's bad. I love this. This is still one of my favorite fragrances in the whole world. I love this fragrance. And people are going to hate me for this. But Perfumo is my least favorite. Not because Rudy from Tyler Scuff says it smells like egg farts. No, I just, I, I thought it was just a rip off of a sensor. And I always, always, I was, I was always mad at Perfumo. And I've owned six, you know, four or five bottles of Perfumo. I got, I've had it. I've worn it a lot. I know where it is. But, where am I? It's beautiful. It's a great fragrance. I have a, two bottles of this. I have two bottles of Perfumo. I'm ready. But, it's just, I don't know. I feel like, they could have kept the Senza and not, and this, this was like the replacement mom, you know? It replaced my Senza. I didn't like it. So that's why it's the last. Coming in, the second to last is Absolute. This fragrance right here is the most underrated fragrance in all, all designer fragrances. Nobody gives this love. This is amazing. Why not? This thing is great. I love wearing this fragrance. It's a great fragrance to wear any time of the year. It's very signature scent worthy. Absolute. All right. Profundo lights or profundo? Who comes first? Before we do that, though, I'm going to put EDP third to last. The performance on the perfume, eau de perfume, is just lacking. This new formula is really well done as far as composition, as far as notes, as far as the way it smells. But dang, it dies so quick. It's almost gone on my hand already. I should put it lower down. Well, because of the experience it gives me in the opening, I'm putting it right where it's at. It's in the middle. All right. Profundo Lights or Profundo? Which one's better? In my opinion, they're both amazing. But I'm going to give the edge to Profundo Lights. I like it a little bit more than Profundo. Profundo, to me, is a little more dull. This one's super exciting, man. This is a fragrance that I love. I can't wait to put on this summer again. This one's a little dull. But they're both great. But I prefer Perfume the Lights. So this is the next to last. And this one's after that. All right, so top two. You know what they are. Who's number one, though? We got the OG, my wife's favorite. Guaranteed something. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. And Ascenza, the bad boy. The, the, the Holy Grail. I just bought another bottle of this bad boy. I, I got a big one still. This one forward. I bought me a second one. Because I just never have enough of Senza, man. This is my jam. I know they make clones, but I got to have the real deal. You got to have the real deal when it's your one of your favorites. Period. I just bought another bottle of Tiger. I got to have the real deal. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to put the OG at number two. Yeah, it's just, and this, excuse me, so I'm going to start it, man, no edits, baby. This is probably about a 10, 10, 12 year old fragrance bottle, so it's, this is old. Um, it's just, it just hasn't hold up, it hasn't held up well with time, and, but it's still really good, and it's got a lot of memories, that's why it's never going to be worse than second. But Essenza is my favorite fragrance, you know, it's top 10 for me. Alright, so that's it. So, in my, in my final thoughts on on um, the new EDP. It performs bad. It smells amazing. If you can respray a bunch, you might enjoy it. 
If you don't own Profumo, check it out. If you want to sample it, come on now, baby, before the sale's up. Only three hours to buy one, get one on all the new releases. Designers. All right. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay well, baby. And if you smell good and you look good, then baby, it's going to be all good. Pepper Fragrance Reviews is out.